Well, the cost of health care may be going up in Vermont. Some hospitals are looking to raise what they charge, and that is bringing backlash. Local 22's Sam Israel looks at the factors driving this move. That's right, Lauren. The UVM Medical Center is projected to lose $39 million this fiscal year. Now, it and other hospitals are calling on state regulators to increase service charges to help offset their losses. Vermont hospitals say inflation is taking its toll. And as the cost of operating goes up, hospitals like UVM Medical Center and Central Vermont Medical Center are looking to raise rates. Hospital budgets in Vermont are regulated by the Green Mountain Care Board. The board could approve what the hospital has come in and asked for. They could completely deny what the hospital has come in and asked for, or they could modify the request that the hospital has asked for. Hospitals are facing staffing shortages. Rutland Regional Hospital is trying to recruit more workers by increasing wages. They made the decision to um, raise their minimum wage to $15 an hour. But the rate hikes are being met with opposition. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont does not support the Green Mountain Care Board's approval of any mid-year um, commercial rate increases. Insurance providers like Blue Cross Blue Shield argue that these higher costs could fall on Vermonters. Vermonters will see, it will see an increase in out-of-pocket costs for all of our patients. Um, there will be increased claims costs for employers, as well as eventually increased premium costs following this decision. This all adds up to a difficult decision for state regulators. What you don't want to have happen is Vermonters not being able to afford their insurance and, and going uninsured. The Green Mountain Care Board held a meeting earlier today for Rutland's regional hospital's request, but did not render a decision. According to the UVM Medical Center, these rates could go into effect as early as next month if approved. Live from the newsroom tonight, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.